In this month's spotlight, we'll be co covering OP base items. Some of the items we'll be covering are the lockers, what you can do with the lockers, the gardening boxes, and how to create them, and many other crafting recipes such as tents, banners, and possibly the um, dirt mounds. Before we begin recording, I also have talked to the mod author and asked him if he could sit down for a Q&A interview. He unfortunately no longer has a working mic right now, so he answered the questions in text format. I will be reading those at the end of the video. Also, there will be some videos showing the traps of the lockers, and they will be footage given to me by the mod author since it requires a server to be able to see the effects of the grenade flashbang and other um, traps being set off. Thank you. All right. Let's get started with the first thing, which is the lockers. I do would like to apologize for the background noise. Normally I would try to record in a silent setting, but unfortunately it's un impossible to record without noise in the background. So what we have here is a pair of pliers and 10 sheet metal. Take the pliers into your hand and it will give you the ability to craft a locker. You just push and hold, you need 10 sheet metal to craft a locker and a pair of pliers. The pair of pliers will be fully consumed in the crafting of the locker. And then it'll pop up behind me. And then voila, you have a locker. And you can see that it can hold an assortment of things. And we will be going over that in just a quick second. All right, now I'll be covering everything that can be attached to the locker and the lock. I have a lock right here. This is what the model looks like in the world. The lock, when attached to the locker, has six digits. So you can easily have a very customized thing. When you unlock the locker, it doesn't automatically open, but you can open it. And the lock does not drop on the ground. It stays in there. So if you take the lock and put it into your hands, and then reattach it to the locker, it will automatically close the door and lock it. The locker itself has 70 um, places for items. It also has the ability for a camo netting. As you can see there, it's the camo netting. Most lockers will look gray like that one. This one is one you can spawn in for demonstration purposes. And as you can see, a lot of the items inside the locker can be seen. You got the helmet, got the radio, bag, got a gun, and you got the shoes, even gloves, which is kind of a cool little like uh, display way of showing off your items. If you go in here, you can see we have the radio, we have a tactical belt, boots, gloves, we have a jacket, pants, plate carrier, or any other kind of vest, bag, helmet, the AK, and that is everything you can put inside the, uh, you know, locker. One other thing you can do now uh, of 1.04 is grenade traps. If you take a grenade trap and put it into the locker and close the locker, when somebody opens the locker, depending on what grenade you put in there, flashbang or frag grenade, it will go off and either kill or stun them. Um, this amount of time is varied and I don't want to tell you exactly how long it takes for it to go off to stop people from knowing how long they have before they can run. Uh, the next few clips are the clips provided by the mod author and they will show you the different variations that you can do with the traps that can be attached to it. As well as we will be also looking on how to disarm lockers using certain tools. Alright, so this is him attaching the grenade to it, and then opening a locker, and then the explosion, and then him going back in first person, and showing it off in first person. And there he goes. Run, 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 run. Boom! This is a demonstration of the flashbang. You just drag it over to the open trap slot, close it, open it. When they open it, Boom! And then they're disoriented. 
when they were like around. And this is him doing it in first person. Boom! And as you can see, it is quite, you know, unique. This is him disarming the trap. You can see him doing it over time and it will fall. Alright, now we will be covering the work table that you can make from OP base items. Now there is unfortunately a bug right now with OP base items work table where it does not have the attachment slots for the knife and the melee slot which now shares the slot, the same slot with guns from 1.04 update. But uh, it also has a 7x3 inventory um, space, which is 21 slots in total. This is what the model looks like. As you can see, it looks very nice and everything else. To craft this, you need 10 planks and 10 nails. All you do is cycle to the work table, push and hold with your 10 planks and 10 nails, which will be fully consumed when crafting the work table. Now this work table does not have a placement uh, model, much like tents or other items do, so when it does spawn, uh, it's going to look like that. But it, it um, looks very nice and looks very good. Take it into your hands, see it kind of looks kind of wonky. Uh, it's going to uh, place the way you're not looking. So there you go. And that, folks, is the work table from OP Base Items. Next up, we will be looking about how to craft the wood storage. As you can see, the wood storage is right there. Looks nice. All you need is two planks and ten nails to craft the wood storage. Cycle to the wood storage recipe, click and hold. Now. It's going to use up all 10 nails and the two planks to craft the wood storage. It's going to appear behind me at an angle. And as you can see, there we go. We take the wood storage into your hands. You can choose where you place it, which is quite nice. All right, the wood storage is nice. It has 150 slots inside of it, and it can hold 14 wooden logs, 120 planks, 6 firewood, and 4 short sticks. We used to be able to pick this up and move it for easy construction, but now when you put items inside of it, it is a stationary object once items are in it. If you take items out of it and it is completely empty, you can uh, move it to the new location. And this is the wood storage from OP Base Items. Alright. We are now going to be covering the garden plot creation um, from OP base items. First you need 10 nails and you need 2 planks to craft it. So you just cycle to the garden box, push and hold, and it will consume both the 2 planks and 10 nails in its creation. And ba boom! Now if you take and put it into your hands, have to go into third person and it's quite difficult to see where you're putting this but you can kind of guess and then you push and hold to deploy the box see the box is empty now you can see it's cycling and boom now you can see it holds three seeds and you can fertilize the seeds you can put any seeds in here you can water them Pretty much it is essentially just a garden plot, but it's not so big, you know, compared to the garden plot of that size. As you can see, they're quite bigger. Now, this is what it looks like when the plants are fully grown. I chose tomatoes because they're the tallest plants, and as you can see, they look quite nice, and you can harvest. And you can pull it out. And you can rewater and re-fertilize if you have garden lime or plant material. And this is the garden box from OP base items. Okay, 
Now we will be covering the water barrel frame and water barrel creation. This is a unlimited supply of water and it is quite handy. To create the water barrel frame, you need four planks and ten nails. So there you go, put it together. Now I'm not 100% sure if it requires exactly four planks. No it does not. It is two planks and ten nails and then it creates the water barrel frame. Now what you do with the water barrel frame is you take the water barrel frame and then you find a water barrel. These water barrels spawn naturally in, in the world if your server owner has added the proper uh, convict files for spawning in and you have to find them. You cannot create them or anywhere else. They have to be spa um, spawned by the economy or by an admin. So you take the water barrel frame and the water barrel and you hold and craft a water barrel kit. As you can see, it makes a water barrel. These water barrels are fully um, movable, but requires third person to like actually know where you're placing. And then you can just drink with your own hands or you can uh, fill a container. Again, these are unlimited uh, sources of water until he can figure out how to make it so it only has so much water. This is the, the water barrel from OP Base Items. Alright, next we'll be covering how to create a banner and how to make the banner mount. First we will start with the banner mount. It's quite easy. All you do is take a pair of pliers and 10 sheet metal and cycle to the craft banner mount recipe and you just hold it and voila. You'll put it on the ground. You take it and you can choose the placement as you can see. Now if you place it it will the banner will be on the outside so you gotta flip it around 180 degrees uh, for it to face you if you want it to face you. Go. As you can see, it's nice. The mod author has been notified that you cannot unpack or tear down the banner mount when it's just, once it's placed. Uh, or actually, you can. It's just really far away. He's going to make it so you can do it when it, you're a lot closer. To make a <clears throat> banner for your banner mount, it requires a sewing kit and a camo net. Now a sewing kit and a camo net is all that is needed to make the four banners that he has. As you can see there's the Camo East, uh, NATO, Woodland, and the UCP camo. And you just push and hold and craft and it makes it nice thing. And there we go. That's what it looks like. Now I have taken the liberty of putting the banners on the mounts so you can see what they are. So as you can see here, we have the NATO banner right there. Looks very nice. This is the Woodland banner and you can see that's what it looks like on the ground. This is the East banner. And then this is the UCP banner. And that is OP base items banners. Alright, next up we will be covering OP base items tents. First tent we will be doing is the improvised tent which is craftable and then we will be looking at the other tents that can be found in the world. So here is the improvised tent with a camo netting on it. It has Let's see. It has a hundred slots inside of it. It looks quite nice. Uh, now all you need to make this is a burlap sack and a long wooden stick. Burlap sack can be found in the world spawned from the vanilla loot economy and a long stick can be cut by cutting down a bush with a knife. You just take them together and it crafts them. The model 
is quite nice. And he has a custom placement for that. And all you do is just, you know, take it and place it. Boom. And it has the canvas look on it. Looks really clean and um, nice. Uh, has the tan kind of look to it, so it probably could blend in depending on where you have it. The next tent that you can find is hit your per the personal tent. This tent has 200 uh, capacity, and it can take a camo net. As you can see, that's what it looks like. A mob. The camo netting obviously doesn't cover the entire thing, but it already does have a kind of digitalized woodland camo on it. The next tent you can find is a two-way door tent. Go inside of it, it has 400 slots. You can take a camo netting. The um, openings look really well, and you can see the camo netting goes all the way over it, but it is a more of a brighter green than the personal tent. Last but not least is the green tent. The green tent has 400 cargo capacity as well and can take a camo netting. It is a, a, a little bit more roomy and um, is more dome shaped. And there's the opening close, and you can see that it looks pretty decent. And that, folks, is the OP base items tents. From crafting the improvised tent to the three tents you can find in the world from his mod. Alright, and now we are covering an item you can find spawning in the world from OP base item. The storage lock um, cabinet. The storage cabinet is about that tall. You can see on the side it's not very wide. It holds 200 slots and can be locked with a lock from OP base items. This is the same lock you can put on your lockers and everything else. All you do is you just drag it to the what looks like a car belt. And then you can see that is a six digit number again to be able to get into the storage lock with the lock attached. Please note that when you put the lock on the thing, it will immediately lock it. So remember what combo you have put on there. Otherwise, you're going to be here for a long time. And that is the storage cabinet from OP base items. Next up, we will be looking at how to dig a fox with the field shovel added by OP base items. The field shovel does spawn in the world and is quite easily findable inside of industrial places. So you can see that I can dig a dirt mound with this and it renders it in quite nicely. So let's dig it. Boop, 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 boop. You can dig two dirt mounds with one field shovel before it will break. Jump in here. And you can see you have a little bit of a foxhole. Easy to see over. But you can lay down inside of it to create a thing. <laughs> now the foxhole may not be easy to spot at first, but if someone gets close enough, they will be able to easily spot your foxhole right away. Again, you can only dig two foxholes with a field shovel. And that, folks, is OP's base items, field shovel, and foxholes that you can dig with the field shovel. Alright, folks, and now we will be looking at the pocket watch added by OP base, base items. As you can see, it looks nice. This tells time and works with your server if your server has accelerated time as well. You can see it almost looks like a compass, and you hold it like a compass. It opens up. Obviously, the topmost thing is noon, and the bottom one is, uh, you know. 
yeah, 6. And uh, you can tell the time of the server by looking at it. You can even look at it in the model viewer and it will update, which is quite nice. This is the Pocket Watch by OP Base Items. Alright, next up we are going to be reading a questions and answers interview with the mod author. Again, his microphone is broken so I had to ask him the questions over Discord. I'm going to be putting up an image of the questions and answers for easier viewing while I read it out loud. Alright, so here we go. First question. What inspired you to start modding for DayZ? Answer. Before modding tools were released, me and my friends always used to talk about all the cool ideas and additions to the game that would be possible with modding support implemented. When the tools were released, I felt I had to give it a try and see what I could learn. A good amount of inspiration to implement and improve storage items came from the Daisy Plus gun rack. I admired how the modder turned such a simple game prop into something that is very useful for survivors to use in Shinaris. Second question. Was OP base items your first idea or did you have others before it? Answer. I toyed around with some ideas such as a radio to see what was possible, but I never really had another mod idea or theme. I felt there weren't many endgame items for you to search for that would be worth hauling back to your base. I also felt that storage items could be expanded upon from just simple cargo storage to include attachment slots that fit the theme of the item, e.g. the lockers having attachment storage for a player's gear, the wood storage can store planks. Third question. What has been your biggest struggle with OP base items? Answer. The scripting side of some items has been pretty frustrating to implement without much documentation. I'm very thankful for the DAISY modding discord and community made tools such as Eliteness to help make things easier. I found it's been a struggle to create items that visually fit the theme of Shinaris and as time goes on I try my best to learn more and do more to help improve the visual quality of the items. Not everything is perfect, but the community's support has helped a lot with motivation to improve. Fourth and final question. What can we expect in the future from your mod OP base items? Answer. I have some useful items planned, but lately, when I have spare time, I have been trying hard to implement quality of life fixes for existing items, such as uh, recoding some items, adding hand profiles for items that are currently missing them, and texture improvements and fixes. I also hope to stick to the theme of useful or cool items to bring back to your base. Thank you for watching, folks, and this is a mod spotlight on OP base items. And while I try my best to make these videos exciting and entertaining, I could always improve myself. So if you have other ideas or anything else, please feel free to comment on here what I can do to help improve my Mod Spotlight videos. And thank you for again for watching my Mod Spotlight video on OP base items.